welcome to the latest Carden IT Services tutorial. Today we're going to show you how to set and manage your own calendar permissions in Outlook. Microsoft 365 includes the Outlook calendar, but did you know you can share your calendar permissions, allowing your colleagues to view or edit your calendar? Let's look at how to share your calendar and what the different calendar permission levels mean. How to set calendar permissions in Outlook on desktop. If you're using Outlook on your desktop, here's how you can share your calendar and set permissions in just a few clicks. First, open Outlook and navigate to the calendar section by clicking the calendar icon. Find the calendar you want to share under My Calendars. Click the three dots, then click Sharing and Permissions. Start typing the address of the Outlook user you want to grant calendar permissions to. Once you've selected the desired account, choose the level of access you want to give them. When you're happy with the settings, click Share to save your changes. The account you chose will now be granted access to your calendar based on the permissions you set. How to set calendar permissions in Outlook on the web. If you prefer to use Outlook on the web, you can also set calendar permissions there. Start by opening your web browser and navigating to portal.office.com. If you are using the latest version of Outlook, the web and desktop experience is almost identical, so all the instructions in this video should apply whether you're using Outlook's desktop or web versions. Click on the grid icon in the top left corner and select Outlook from the list of available apps. Calendar permission levels. Now let's quickly go over the different calendar permission levels available in Outlook, not shared. The calendar is private and not accessible to others, can view when I'm busy, others can see when you're available or busy, but won't see any event details, can view titles and locations, others can see event titles and locations but cannot access other details, can view all details, others can see full event details, including descriptions and attendees, can edit, others can make changes to your calendar such as adding or modifying events but cannot delete the calendar itself. Choosing the right permission level ensures you maintain control over your schedule while allowing access where needed. Managing shared calendars. If you're on the other side of this process, once someone shares a calendar with you, you'll need to open it. In Outlook, click Add Calendar and select Add from Directory. Next, Choose your own account as the search source and start typing the name of the person whose calendar you need to access. Once you find their calendar, select it and click OK. The shared calendar will now appear in your list. If the calendar doesn't show up immediately, try restarting Outlook. It sometimes takes a few minutes to sync. How to use the scheduling assistants. Want to avoid double booking meetings. Scheduling Assistant helps you find the perfect time by checking when your colleagues are available. Create a new meeting and click Scheduling Assistant. Add attendees and a timeline will show when they are available. Choose a time that works for everyone, then click Send to send the invite. You should now know how to set and manage calendar permissions in Microsoft Outlook. If you found this guide helpful, check out Card and IT Services' other IT tutorials. Thanks for watching.